Hello and welcome to our channel. We have collected the latest news for you, so let's go. Why Ethereum is at risk of another fall, $3,200 holds the key. Ethereum is struggling to overcome the $3,400 resistance against the US dollar. Ethereum made another attempt to overcome the $3,400 resistance zone. The low was formed around $3,238 and now the price is correcting higher. There has been a break above the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent decline from a swing high of 3,391 to a low of 3,238. On the other hand, immediate resistance is near the 3,300 level and the 100-hour simple moving average is near the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent decline from the swing high of 3,391 to the low of 3,238. AIverse receives strategic investment from blockchain investment funds, part of Irocentric Corporation. AIverse will provide a feature set for Metaverse 3D application development. Averse is a high-performance, fully decentralized, developer-friendly dual-chain network that provides the necessary services to meet Metaverse's high simultaneous computing requirements. Averse has received a strategic investment from a blockchain investment fund within AR Security and has not ruled out a future equation of merger and equations by ACY.US. The two parties has achieved deep collaboration in many aspects such as the capital, technology and ecosystem applications and have signed a memorandum of strategic cooperation. The investment in Averse is a significant step for ACY to further shape Meta World as the leading global public blockchain network Averse will provide ACY with robust support to build the Meta World application landscape. Averse's NFT asset release service can reduce the cost for gas fees, which is the technical foundation for normalizing and popularizing NFT in the Metaverse. In addition, using the open source real-time 3D creation engines of Beyond Me and Outverse, it will be able to implement next-generation 3D mapping and complex interaction of NFT assets to enhance the overall quality of digital art. The Averse platform is the the first to create a dual chain network structure and to configure a C chain and the E chain respectively. To achieve true decentralization and high throughput, Averse has also improved the POS consensus mechanism. Elliptic is developing a new blockchain product for institutional crypto traders. Analytics company Elliptic announced that it is developing a new data product aimed at institutional crypto traders. To that end, Elliptic created a new market analytics division led by its co-founder James Smith. The division, Elliptic's second line of business after its core blockchain analytics offering, will offer blockchain data to crypto traders. Elliptic says its data set includes more than 20 billion data points and covers 148 crypto assets, representing 98% of the global trading volume. Elliptic says that analyzing data in the network will help crypto traders gain a competitive advantage. More than 1.6 million BNB removed in Binance's first quarterly auto burn. BNB Binance removed about $800 million worth of native cryptocurrency from circulation during the 18th BNB Binance auto burn. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, recently completed its 18th quarterly reset, making its first quarterly automatic burn. The burn removed more dollar value from the network than ever before. According to Binance blog post, the burn removed more than $798 million worth of tokens. More than 6,000 of those tokens were effectively burned as a part of Binance Pioneer Burn program, which believes BNB were mistakenly sent to dead wallets. Encore Games raises $10 million in funding and is ready for new Web3.0 offerings. Indian gaming startup Encore Games has raised $5.5 million in a new funding round. According to a TechCrunch report, the funding round was led by Animalka Brands and Galaxy Interactive with participation from Polygon, a popular second-tier Ethereum scaling solution, and Hyperage Capital. 
A number of angel investors have also invested in the company, which has gained popularity in the gaming ecosystem for its exclusive games. According to the report, Encore Games is home to a number of gaming studios, including Studio Encore, Dot9 Games, and iSpice. Its portfolio includes multiplayer action games, Foul G, and Pro Cricket Mobile, which have been downloaded tens of millions of times. Dogecoin enters centralized finance. Dogecoin owners can now earn income from their coins. The centralized liquidity protocol Thor Chain has added support for the meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin. This allows meme coins to be exchanged for Bitcoins, others Litecoin, and other supported cryptocurrencies without relying on centralized exchanges. Thor Chain uses an automated market maker model, which means it operates similarly to popular DAX such as Uniswap. An important difference, however, is that it allows real cryptocurrencies to be traded instead of ERSA synthetic versions such as wrapped Bitcoin or wrapped EDH. Chain data shows that the number of ATH holders is in at an all-time high. There are currently over 68 million Ethereum addresses on the books, showing steady growth despite the price decline. According to on-chain data, the number of Ethereum addresses holding a balance is currently over 68.26 million. This number has rarely declined despite a challenging price history last year, maintaining steady growth except for June throughout August. Transactions are also trending upward with the number of daily ETH transactions at approximately 1.2 million. The number of transactions peaked last May at about 1.6 million per day. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.